I'm just about to reveal one of the easiest ways that you can make money online in 2023 and that is by writing articles so let's get started in order to do that we're gonna make use of text broker and as soon as you're here you want to switch over to this section that says I write content because that's exactly what we're interested in with text broker your writing talent pays off but here's the thing about it we're actually gonna make use of some tools that will make the whole process a lot easier for you so you don't necessarily need to be the most talented writer to pull this off I'll show you exactly how that works in just a second for now now let's see how much text broker can actually pay you because I know you're all about the exact figures we want to do is click on the free author registration option and then sign up as an author that will allow you to enter in your credentials and move forward and guys have a look at this unlike other websites where it's not clear how much money you're actually gonna get paid when it comes to text broker things are 100% transparent have a look at this they basically have a system that will give your text a quality rating and that will range from one to five stars depending on the quality of your rating you will get paid a certain rate per word which means that if you qualify as three out of five you will get 1.1 cents per word if you get a top quality rating then you will get about five times as much and that's a significant difference and that opens up a very interesting possibility and that is calculating our estimated earnings before even starting this process so you can determine from the get-go whether or not this is worth your time for that matter i'm just going to suppose that we will get a quality rating of four stars out of five let's say that we don't really get that top quality four stars out of five shouldn't be too far-fetched so let me just pick that and now if you write the 1000 word article that will be about 16 dollars if you increase the word count and go up to 1500 that's an extra 24 dollars that you make if you raise the bar up to 3000 words let's say you're basically making $48, which is not too bad. But just to help you guys put things in perspective, what you really wanna do is aim for the five-star quality rating because that's where you can set yourself apart from the crowd and really make some good amounts of money. Look at this. If I increase our quality rating by only one star, we're literally gonna get from $48 to $165. And that is quite the jump. And you can also see this for a shorter article that's only 1,000 words long. We're basically jumping from $16 all the way up to $55. So that's what you wanna aim for. Now, if we take a step back and think about the way this actually works it's a very clear concept it's really straightforward a client connects to textbroker.com and they head over to this section called I need content what's gonna happen is that after they submit their details and requirements and pay for the project textbroker will search for someone who's willing to complete that assignment and if that's you they will give you a certain percentage of that money so it's a win-win situation for everybody you get paid for your effort the client gets a high quality piece of text and text broker is also keeping a cut because they are a middleman but guys let me show you something i'm gonna be 100 percent honest getting a three out of five quality rating is not too far-fetched and if you're good you can even get all the way up to four stars but in order to get a perfect quality rating you need to be extremely good so here's a shortcut this is a trick that you can literally implement in less than 30 seconds that will increase the quality of your text exponentially believe it or not we're gonna make use of artificial intelligence to do that more precisely i want you guys to head over to openai.com and then open chat gpt there's a pretty good chance you might have heard about chat gpt it's really popular right now and it's got some insane capabilities as soon as you open a portal where you get to interact with the ai you can actually get an idea of its capabilities. It can remember what user said earlier in the conversation because it's a language model, so you can talk to it as if you're talking to a real person. But that is a little bit strange. So let's not do that. We're gonna use it for a very clear purpose, and that is improving our writing. It also allows you to provide follow-up corrections. It is trained to decline inappropriate requests. It can do some really impressive things. But here's something it cannot do. It's got limited knowledge of world and events after 2021 because it cannot access the internet. So ChatGPT is working with a huge database, a lot of information, but it's not up to date. And so if your client is asking for an article that is about some very recent news, then ChatGPT will not be able to create that content for you. And that's not a problem because we're not gonna use ChatGPT to write our articles. Let me show you why that is so important to understand. Once again, ChatGPT is a language model and not a content writing tool. Truth be told, I could tell you something like this. Write me an article about climate change or whatever. And it's actually gonna do that. It will search through its database, find some useful information and bring it over to me in the format of an article. Let me just stop generating this. You got the idea. So it will actually follow my instructions. But there is a huge problem when it comes to that. 
if I actually copy this article right here and then I connect to Grammarly.com and actually run it through a plagiarism check, it is most of the times going to fail it. Let me actually illustrate that. I'm just gonna open a new document, paste it in, then head over to the plagiarism option right here and Grammarly will search through billions of different web pages looking for duplicates. And as you can see, 17% is copied from this article, another 30% matches this source right here and another 24% matches this one. So this is not original content. ChatGPT will basically find bits of information from its database and glue them together. That's what it does. And that's a big problem because text broker only accepts original content. So that is something you wanna keep in mind. You cannot just take the assignments that you get from your clients, send them over to ChatGPT, ask it to do them, and then send them back over to your client. It doesn't work like that. Text broker will not accept your application. Your texts will not be accepted either. So you're not gonna end up making any cash. You're just wasting your time. That is the wrong way to use ChatGPT. Here's the correct one. Remember, our ultimate goal here is getting our text quality from 3 or 4 stars out of 5, which is achievable by yourself, to a 5 star rating. And that's what ChatGPT can help us with. It can help us improve the quality of our texts instead of writing them from scratch. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to use this paragraph here for reference. And here's what I'm gonna do next. I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT to improve that text for me. Remember, this is a language model, so you can just send the requirements in a natural voice, as if you're talking to a real person. You don't have to send any specific instructions, you don't need to do any coding. It will understand your requirements, it will understand the instructions and execute them. And it is actually going to improve your text. And you can even be a little bit more specific. You can ask ChatGPT to make that text a little bit more readable. You can even ask it to add humor. Look, can you add humor to this? And it is going to take the reference text and actually add humor, which is quite insane to me. Climate change, the ultimate party crasher. Just when you thought it was safe to wear shorts all year round and forget about shoveling snow, bam. Temperature and weather patterns go haywire, all thanks to our own human activities like burning fossil fuels and whatever. You got a point here. What is for sure is that ChatGPT has got some insane capabilities. And again, you don't have to take my word for it. You can see it for yourself. That's how you want to use it. Not in order to create content from scratch because that's not original, but you want to make use of ChatGPT to improve your content. And that is very valuable. Again, it can literally take a $16 article to a $55 article. That's a huge difference. Now, at the time I'm recording this video, if you want to sign up on TextBroker as an author, you won't really be able to. As you can see, they are not taking any new applications right now, but they will be happy to welcome you at the beginning of spring. So that's gonna be about a month from now. And that's why you really wanna stay up to date and make sure that you're one of the first people to apply for this position as soon as TextBroker starts accepting new applications. Speed is pretty important here. But in the meantime, if you want to connect to a very similar website that also pays you for writing articles, that's iWriter.com. You want to switch over to this section that says Write Content, and that will allow you to send in your application. However, in order to pass this test, you will actually have to complete a quick assignment. You will need to write a 200-word article on this topic right here. The number one way a company can be successful with social media marketing. And pay attention to this. Your article must be 100% original, not 80%, not 75%, 100%. Your application will be immediately rejected if plagiarism is detected by Copyscape. So you want to stay away from that. The best way to do it is as follows. You want to take your time to do the research, come up with your own article that is 100% original, that uses your wording, and in order to make it a little bit higher quality, you want to ask ChatGPT for improvements. That is literally the perfect combo. You're doing the work yourself at first, and then you're using one of the best tools out there, powered by artificial intelligence, to take your content quality to the next level. That's the way to go. Now, if you search the web, you will find a few different text broker alternatives that will pay you for writing content. And you can even do this as a freelancer on Upwork, for instance. And you can use the same exact process. You can write your own articles or whatever piece of content your client requests, and then you can use ChatGPT for improvements. But from my experience and from reading other people's reviews, text broker and iWriter seem to be the best options. However, guys, you've got everything it takes to make this work. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.